Welcome everyone to part two of the How to Introduce series that we are doing. Um, thanks for the support for the first episode. It was really good. It's really cool to see all that. Yeah. Um, so hopefully you stick around for the rest of these parts. Um, as always, you can follow me at Mitch692 on Twitter. And once again, I'm joined by Sean. Hi, you can follow me nowhere except for this uh, podcast. And uh, yeah, I'm happy to be here. <laughs> Or if you're behind him in the car, you can follow him right now. No. <laughs> or you can be in my back seat. But don't do that. That's kind of creepy. You just look back and there's someone there, just like, hey. I, hey. I do do that sometimes because I live in Newark, New Jersey now, and like you kind of have to do that because you never know what's going to happen there. It's when you forget, but, like, you know, you've got a kid in the back and it's like, oh, God, I forgot about that. There's a baby. Yeah. Who's the best part about having. <laughs> Can I see your identification? <laughs> but right to get into this, the first part we did the first movie for a Fantastic Four trilogy. You know, we had our directors, which I went for. I can never remember his name. The guy who did Invisible Man. And yeah, uh, Lee Wanell. Yeah. That's the one. And you went for Alex Garland, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, Alex yeah. Garland. I, I... Yeah. You also had. Uh, the internet's favorite Krasinski and Blunt for Reed and Sue. Yeah, um, was it Asa Butterfield for yeah. Johnny? Yeah. And who was your thing? Yeah. And, and, and guys, don't take this as like uh, any hint of anything. This is just <laughs> me talking. So don't don't use my name in any article saying that you know he uh, he's confirmed players in a game. So it's a little <laughs> disclaimer at the beginning of this. <laughs> But who did you have for Ben Grimm again? Uh, I believe it was um, what's his face from uh, um, Dread Man, Carl Urban. Carl Urban, yeah, yeah. And I had uh, Rahul Kohli as Reed, Rose McIver as Sue, Logan Lerman as Johnny. Is it? Yeah, Logan Lerman as Johnny yeah. and Lee Schreiber is the thing. I also yeah. had Herbie in there that I wanted to change to Kerbley. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sticking by that one. He's going to be a not a staple, but I just want him in the scene because I think it's funny. He's written down, and he's <laughs> it's your it's your official choice now. I say I have it. I have it on my phone in Google Docs, so it's an official now. It's good. One of us is prepared because I, have, I completely <laughs> I, forgot what I. In fact, I I, I have a, a faint idea for the sequel. I don't really know how to take it necessarily. Yeah. But um, mm-hmm. I suppose just to get straight into it, um, my mm-hmm. post credit scene for the last one, or for the first movie, was them meeting Victor Von Doom yeah. pre-everything. Yeah. Okay. So, no scarring, he's just a pretty boy. He could be Javier Bodem, <laughs> he, he, he could be Nicholas costa Wardu. I don't know which one. It might not even be either of them, who knows at this point. But, um, it could be him. Yeah, I think, only him. Like, I think the main... Like crux of my movie, I kind of want to do like Doom inv- wanting to invade somewhere. Yeah, like Wakanda uh, or something like that. I was thinking Wakanda because obviously you know, Fantastic Four introduced a lot of things in Marvel. You, you could probably argue it introduced ninety percent of Marvel. Yeah. So it's like he had Black Panther in, in that, and it's like it would only make sense. But I'm like, can, can we just well, side. Well, for me, what it, what it does is it establishes um, it, it's, it, it it ties it to a a current um, current you know cotton you know current you know, characters and stuff like that. Yeah. So you're not making up characters for them to invade some like Middle Eastern com- uh, country or anything like that. You're not offending anybody, but you're you're, you're kind of playing to the uh, to the crowd for this. Which yeah. I, I, I like. So that, so I, it up a lot more too. Yeah, so I wouldn't be mad if it did end up like if it went exactly how I'm, I, I reckon I think it could go. But at the same time, it's like if you do Black Panther, you're not introducing anything. And I think a big part of the Fantastic Four is that introduction, is that like exploratory, you find something mm-hmm. no one else has found. So I kind of want to. Uh, I mean, Krakoa. Krakoa, okay. Because that kind of ties it in with the X Men, you can like tie that into a yeah. But you don't have to show the X Men; you can just have it be Krakoa. Yeah. You just have a map somewhere, a video map with the, the yeah. 
I, I so, you know, you can go, on. you can go to Krakoa and see everything because the beauty of that island is no, you can't see stuff from the outside. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like its own little bubble, so you can do it that way. But then yeah. you have like everything, like it's a very bare bones, thin sort of an idea. Yeah. I haven't got the majority of it. I don't even know what the hook for the next one's going to be, but right. that's kind of and where could, I'd want to take it. You could also do, and I'm just speculating here, there's no way, shape, or form conf- confirming anything again. Um, you, you could do Atlantis, too. Cause it's could very much well do Atlantis, yeah. yeah. Especially after Eternals, because that's no doubt going to establish some you, kind of well, connection. You, you got you got the you got the connection already to a prior to the movie. Um, the name is already valued. There's continuity backing up everything that you could do. You don't necessarily have to like follow that continuity of the comics, but you could you could play to it. You know, you know in some yeah. way, shape, or form. The, the only problem is is like there's certain things that you can't use at this point, or there are certain things they might be able to use. Who knows? But like, mm. th- there's limitations to that possibly too. Mm. I, I just like I, I'm very torn on what's like you know Black Panther and Atlantis or well, Wakanda mainly would probably be the ideal one because yeah. yeah it's already pre-established and it's like I'd want the humans reintroduced through the Fantastic Four and if you do the Krakoa and mutants you're kind of doing the same thing again and that's a good thing too because like it kind of wipes the, the slate clean for that that franchise you know exactly like, in humans it's kind of it's got a lot of baggage, man. Oh, like, if you could do it for it. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. I mean, it, look, it, look. the show is what it is, but it's it, it's 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 so far back, and nobody talks about it. It, it might as well not be there at it's true. this it's point. Because um, the, the Aces of S.H.I.E.L.D., those in humans really don't exist, because the show doesn't exist in the, in the MCU proper at this point. So you kind of have a fresh slate. I mean, it's mm. been, what, three, four years since that show? Aired, what Inhumans? Uh, yeah, the Inhumans. Wasn't it like? I can't remember when it came I, out I, actually. <laughs> I, I want to say, like say like twenty. I want to say like twenty sixteen. Okay, it could have been twenty seventeen. I tell you, what, I'm going to Google it right now. Professionalism. But you, my my point is that you got so much time in between that that fr- that show being sh- shown, and then nobody's talked about it since then. So you don't have any like unless you. Watch, rewatch it on Di- uh, on Disney Plus or Amazon Prime. You people probably forgotten that show. It was in I fact twenty seventeen. It was okay. So three 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 four years, right? I don't know. I, my sense of time is completely. I say it's it's been point. it's been it's three years in September. Okay. Which is so wild. It seems way longer than. That. <laughs> right, and well. that's a good that's a good amount of time to kind yeah. of like help. I mean. Within humans, you don't necessarily have to show them. You mention them in the movie and leave it at that at that point, you know, or I don't know. I think hopefully, I mean, Eternals will be out by then, you know, so I don't know. It, 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 it's it's a good way to, you know, reintroduce the characters. Mm. But I kind, of, I kind of really want to save those for the third one. So, yes. Yeah. I think it's either going to be Kukoa or Wakanda. But the more yeah. I'm thinking about it, the more I'm kind of leaning now on Wakanda. <laughs> I'm just going to completely yeah. backtrack in my idea, Kukoa. So well, that well, may be safe have... later. Well, the Wakanda thing doesn't have the baggage that like most of those other properties have. And, no, like, it's true. It's, already, it's, a, it's a multi-billion dollar uh, franchise, so you know people definitely want to see it more. And like again, it's it's established in the comics like that these two have a rivalry at some point. You know? Yeah, like, yeah. You know, and it's been mentioned. I, th- I, you know, like, I don't know. You know, it's... As you know what, good... I'm going to completely revamp everything. I want Doom in this to be the catalyst for why Atlantis and Wakanda don't like each other. I mean, it's, it's possible, too. Like, he, play, he starts playing them off because he wants both, like, the resources yeah. and both things. Yeah. I think that's I... probably what I'm going to land, actually. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, it's a, that's a good, another good way. All I know for certain what I want when Doom is being set up in my movie mm-hmm. is Johnny being the one to burn his face. And that's yeah. why he has the mask and the suit on. And, and it's, and it's got to be, it's, yeah, and it's got to be like full Darth Vader-esque style suit. Well, like, yeah, and he's also, like, it could be very well an accident. 
uh, I mean, Supernova, you know, like, that's uncontrollable yeah, yeah. because Supernova, I mean, like... It, it's still the second yeah. movie, like... Yeah. And, he's, and, he, this, and at this point, uh, I mean, the team's still kind of like, I don't know. In in my book, I think the team is a little inexperienced. Not not necessarily experienced to what the, pro, you know, like the, the comic book versions are. Yeah. They're I mean, I suppose it, it depends how far... Like the time is between the sequels. Like obviously, the way I've yeah. done it, mine's literally it picks up as the other one ends. But yeah. you could say, well, that post credit scene is two years after the fact. No. Yeah, yeah. I think it it all de- also de- all depends on how how they actually do introduce the characters. You know, like oh, yeah. it. Yeah. You know, like that. I mean, it. I like Doom. I personally, I'm gonna go into left field. I will want Doom in the movie, but I want. I want Mole Man. I want. I want that. Mole oh, Man's Man. a great choice. It's just a such it's so great. out there. Yeah. If I could read, if I went to redo the first one again, I'd absolutely do Mole Man. And uh, I can never remember the monster's name. Uh, I know what you're talking about. I can't remember it either. There's that that, that one iconic cover that was coming out yeah. the ground. They always use yeah. it for stuff. It's like if I, if if I go back and do it again, I'd probably go with that one. Right. But I'm well, that would be my game. second movie, personally. Yeah, I mean that would be a good second movie. Do like Monster Island, or that. You know, like keep doing in the, Doom in the background, and like, mm. you know, just like play up the other characters. No, I, I like that idea because it's a very different type of movie. Like you haven't done like a kaiju mole man movie yet. Yeah, Plus, I mole mean, man's mole man's only been in the movie for like what a scene in these movies yeah. now. So. And it, and it really wasn't a mole man that, you know, like, it's a guy in name only. It's like, it was, like, know, pre-mole that, man. Right. Yeah. I mean, at that point, it's just the guy's name, you know? Like, he's not mm. actually anything. You know, like, I, I, I remember watching that, that, that movie and thinking, this is never going to get a sequel. So, none of this even matters. So, like, you could actually yeah. <laughs> redo all this and have it do it proper, you know? Now, would you have the Fantastic Car? Oh fuck yeah! Right. <laughs> yes, God yes, proper. Yeah. Not not that not not the eighty nine, you know, four pos. You know, I want that. I want, I want the proper fantastic car. I want that. That's what I want. I want, That's one of the, the contingencies that in this movie they must have a flying fantastic car. Yeah. W- would you, you have know, it like, be like all Kirby esque, or would you go for more like a uh, kind of like a Lola with Coulson? Not necessarily, uh, not necessarily like it's just a, it's just a car that can fly, but like it's well, more it's based on something. Kind well, of like I want, I want, of I want the technology to be based off of that, but I want I want a Kirby John Byrne amalgam version of that. Good I want that. I want that. That's that's the one thing I I, I absolutely must have in that movie is mm. is I want a proper car. You know, um, everything else could be changed. Everything could be kind of shifted around, but you know, like, that was another disappointing part of that movie, you know, of that other movie. It was just like, I understand what he was going for, but it just didn't work for those characters. Yeah. Now, now, my next question for the Fantastica. Would you have it white and blue or blue and white? Oh, man. I, I, I want to <laughs> go. <laughs> I, you know, it, it's that's a hard question because, like, John Byrne and Kirby did completely different color schemes. Mm. So, I mean... If you if you could do either or, I would be happy. I don't want to be you know like pick, nitpicky on that. You know like if you could get either way scheme, I just don't want like race car you know yellow or orange on it anywhere. You know just give me the classic colors and I'm good. It doesn't matter what what if they shift the the, the color scheme around, I'm okay with that. You know. Ooh, speaking of which, which actually we never went over the suits in the first one. Yeah. I don't. I don't think in my original one the suits would fit at all. Like, why would they ever have like a super suit? They'd be like they have the astronauts. But because uh, it's mainly because you brought up the orange. Now I really liked that old Fantastic Four cartoon. I think it's from like the the early two thousands. Was it the, the animated version one? Yes, yeah. yes, that yes. one. And they had yeah. a slight hint of orange to break everything up. Uh-huh. And I really like. I think that might be what started my like fascination with the color orange. I love that color. <laughs> like, I'm pretty yeah, certain like it, it started there. It's just like, hmm. hmm. I'll be honest with you. I, I would. I want 
the the white and the blue. You know, like the traditional. I like. I like. I don't get me wrong. I love that 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 scheme that they use in that. In that. I say, weren't they? Like, bla- weren't they blue and black originally? They were blue and black. Yeah. yeah. Um. I think the John Byrne one was like a navy blue, maybe, mm. and like a white collars and stuff like that. I love that. I love that suit. There's just something about that suit that screams. And you see that you just you just instantly think Fantastic Four. Yeah. Like the 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 original Ditko ones are fine. Um, I just it just didn't. The only reason I like the white and the blue is like like you were saying with the with with your pick was it breaks up the the colors. Mm. You know. It, oh, you it are, yeah, you are right. Yeah, the John Byrne was the white collar and the white belt. Yeah, I I was having I a right that. brain fart then. I was like, I know he's right. I just can't picture it in my head. <laughs> I love that look. That look is like one of my favorite, and it looks just so iconic. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, there's just something about that color. Like, I think I think it's slightly more, different. But... Like, you don't really see. You obviously see white and blue together, but you never really yeah. saw it like that. Yeah, and like it's it's shifted. It, the, the designs kind of shifted slightly throughout the years, but like mm. it's always stayed that. With the exception of what's what the Marvel Now versions were, which I like it. Oh, the black and still... red ones. Yeah. Well, no, not the black and red ones. It's. I think the current Marvel Legends have the have the ones that I'm I'm really talking about. Uh, it's oh, like do you mean what Dan Dan Slot's doing currently? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. But they're all black, and it's kind it's kind of like the yeah. flip of the original. Where instead of being majority blue, it's now majority black, and the black on the original is now blue. Yeah. 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 But I, I just know something about the iconic blue and white that that just screams mm. to me. Like if I if I can see that, that's another um, man. Wish I could talk about that, but like that they uh, they had old sketches of like what Bullseye was going to look like in season three, and they had it just like that, where it was like kind of like the the traditional you know bullseye yeah. costume it's just something about those colors that you put together and it's just kind of like kind of like break uh screen you know just kind of like stands out to me mm. i'll say there's a it's a problem with white in superhero movies they never make it white they always make it gray yeah it's like yeah. captain america also, he's never white he's always gray gray but i also like the fan the the future foundation costumes but i think that should I come down later love the, yeah i i do that either for a third or a f- possible fourth or yeah, like late appearances after the third like you don't touch those in, until like at least until you get like valeria and franklin involved like that's where yeah you... now that brings up a question for me is like do you actually hint at the at those characters in the second i one? would have sue pregnant at the end of the second one yeah yeah and like you could do that whole oh my god, like that whole there's a John Byrne arc and like the the old Fantastic Four where Sue's pregnant and then they have Doctor Octopus come in and stuff like that and like she he's the only person that could save Sue and the baby. I say because like, isn't isn't there like a really accelerated birth? I want to say it was real. Yeah. I could be thinking of like the Carol Danvers Avengers 200, which I I do not want to ever think about that story. We don't talk about it. <laughs> But I, it's I, 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 I never know if I'm thinking of that or if she actually like, because Franklin just like kind of that typical like, oh I'm pregnant, oh I'm giving birth, you know, that real. Cool. Um, I, I have to go back and reread it, but like I, I think it might have been just a normal birth. It was just like mm. every just other arc was kind of months. Right? Yeah, well I think it had to do something with the, I don't know, it, it was I can't remember exactly what happened that caused the problem but i just remember that that issue because of the cover and then just like the the mixing and matching of characters you know having mm-hmm. dr octopus come into the you know i think she hawk was on on the on the on the team at the time but they can't do that for a while no no i, I definitely like hint that she's pregnant maybe, maybe like do valeria first don't bring in franklin until later on i'm not i can't yeah. remember which one's the oldest and which one's the youngest or if they're born at the same time like I think, yeah, I mean... I want to yeah, say Franklin I mean, came first, but I could be wrong. I think Franklin came first because he was around prior to uh, Valeria, though, right? I can't remember. No. I'm pretty sure, because, like, I think Franklin... Wasn't Franklin the cause of that, uh, the Onslaught stuff, too? So he I he was around. So. And yeah. I don't think Valeria was around at that time. 
But mm. then again, like I can't remember exactly how Valeria got introduced, and I'm not like I no. guess I could be on my butt. All, all I know is when Valeria comes into it, I need that thing with her and Doom. I need, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, the I report. need that whole like arc with her living with him and all that. I need it. I think that's. I think that was like one of the best things ever, man. Like, cause it's just, it's like just two smart people talking, you know, and like yeah. in coming to a common ground, you know. So like, maybe also, that can be the Disney Plus spinoff, like Valeria I mean, and Doom. I mean, it could be. I mean. Uh, at, at home with the Van Dooms. No. <laughs> that would be pretty awesome. <laughs> Good idea. Uh, if we, if it of, does get made, I'll, I'll make sure you're accredited as a hey, as, as a producer. <laughs> but uh, th- this could lead into. I mean, this could start the process of like what a Secret Wars starts in the fan towards the, like I'd say the second and the third film. You start the you start getting the wheel rolling for the for that mm-hmm. Secret Wars. And that that doesn't take place for a long time, but you can start developing that story now or yeah. within the second, the third story, the film. Because mm. like the, the Fantastic Four, the key to all to is like the biggest key in in the uh, the Secret War uh, arc, right? Oh yeah, all three of them. They're like at least Doom, anyways. Pivotal for every Secret Wars. It's just kind of like his thing. Which don't like. I, I said for my post credit scene for the first one, I'd have them like Doom walking the family around like Castle Doom and showing them everything. One of yeah. those things I'd have in that would be like a multiverse map. Yeah. yeah. Like just There's drop something it, drop it right there. Like just drop that m- bomb show right there and then. I mean, it would make sense. Like, cause like I remember when um Farford Home was like the whole hubbub about it was about multiverse and I'm like mm. Yeah, I don't know about that, and that's before I knew anything about it. Uh, this makes more sense that way, and I think that could throw people for a loop. You know, like they'd be like, "Oh, it's another multiverse thing." Quote so, unquote. <laughs> it, it kind of is, kind of isn't. But I'm... That's what I'm saying. Like, you know, like you can, and like the multiverse is now going to be proper in in the MCU, anyways. Yeah, yeah. By the time this film even shows up, you know this. The 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 ideas of mul- an actual multiverse is gonna be developed already, so you're gonna be so far ahead, and they could just they could blow the doors off of it. Mm. Well, so yeah, Secret like, Wars is kind of like what you do ten years after you've done the multiverse, and then you that, bring that, back that, old. Like you bring back everyone. It's like right, this is closing the multiverse up. Like we've done that bit, now we're gonna finish it. It's supposed, uh, it's that's it's, 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 on that, right? That's I, I I can tell you this right now with a guaranteed fact. The minute they start developing a Secret Wars movie, it's it's instant. It's an instant three billion dollar, four billion dollar oh, absolutely. movie. Absolutely, like people are going to be like losing their shit trying to find tickets online to yeah. get five, yeah. six years down the line. You well, know? who who's going to need to go online to get tickets? You just stream it on demand. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> At this point, <laughs> we just wait for our TV for five, six years. <laughs> you, you, you know, <laughs> after all, up. Trolls just made a hundred million in three weeks of rentals. Like, you know, but that's I a completely you. different. That's a completely different conversation. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm wait, not gonna say I told you so though. But uh, you didn't <laughs> tell me. You didn't tell me that I was one preaching it. So I'm fine. Yeah. Um. So right, you have your Monster Island. Do you have any idea what uh, how you end the movie off? Um, I think you. I think with ending the movie, you kind of have to bring. I think Doom ends the movie. I think the full reveal of a mm. Doom in like armor sitting on a throne. You know, I think that's how I see it. Like it just pans over the castle, and it goes in, and then you can hear you can hear him talking. Uh, yeah. You know, dialogue. You know, and as you know, as you approach the th- the room, you, you just have him sitting on the throne doing it like a, a crazy ass monologue with two doom bots just sitting next to each other you know, <laughs> next to the throne you just throw it against the wall man like yeah. it, it, you know just put everything out there because like at that point it doesn't matter how much you hate those characters you put that in that movie and people are going to lose their mind you yeah. know like that design the design of the, you just show, you just full on show what the design of the armor is going to look like and him just yeah. sitting on a throne saying that crazy monologue, you know, and two Doombots just sitting on the throne, and then you just, you know, you just fade. That's it. See, then, I'm kind of salty because the first part of what you said is kind of what I wanted. 
<laughs> I was like, you, you just pan along the castle. You can hear him saying something. But this my crazy my my difference is, I want to lean into Doom being magic. I know he hates the magic stuff, but I want to lean into him having that. So I, it's, I think... it's like you see all these like weird, crazy lights going off, no. and like you can't understand yeah. what he's saying. And then you kind of like it goes to the throne room, and he's using magic to like bring the armor to him at that point. Okay, and like, that's yeah, I, how I don't... Like, I don't shy away from that either, the magic. I mean, I feel like once you're panning through the castle, you just see all these crazy, like, like books and paintings and stuff like that. You know, you kind of hint at that, you know, and then you just, as he's, you know, as you're going through the, the throne room, he, I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I mean, look, I love that idea because I want that crossover. I yeah. want that crossover between, you know, Doctor Strange and, you know, and Doctor Doom going to hell to get his mom's soul, you know, but like I think I think you kinda have to earn it in some ways, you know. Oh like... yeah. I wouldn't jump straight into that, but it's like it... obviously like he hates using magic and all that. Yeah. But I, I kinda like like the first one, I wanna build that like yeah. oh he hates the the riches and the storms, like build that up. It's like, oh, he hates magic. Well, he's obviously got to have learnt magic to not like it and all that. Yeah, so you, yeah, you do yeah. that, you know, obviously he's got like a natural gift for it because of his mother and then you can have that in like a Doom series. Like you make the Doom yeah. series, him and Doctor Strange, because Doctor Strange is then kind of like, hang on, this guy knows magic. He's quite good at it. Right? Yeah. And that's how those two meet up. And then you could also tie, easily tie those two characters together in some way. Oh, you yeah. You know, yeah. like he, he learned magic from Mordo, you know, who knows, you know, like yeah, Mordo yeah. taught him magic, you know, just, but, or, you know, like, yeah, yeah, I love, the, I love the idea of him, because, like, that's a part of his character, mm. you know. That's, and it's also, you know, you know, like, the, the first one, he just used lightning, it was electric yeah. powers, why, why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The second one, he was just, he was, I don't know Full what, on, right? it's like a telekinetic bin bag in the, in the yeah. um, front four stick, so, like, let's go... No, we have the look of the magic now. Like seeing that with the Doom armor is just like, mm, please. Yeah, it's like please. it's a shift right there, there. Uh, mm. And obviously, make it like a different color to Strange's like yellow. But that's just me. Uh, well, you do like the red, you know, like the red colors. See, I was thinking like a magenta sort of color, maybe like a scarlet. Oh, yeah. But then, like you kind of getting too close to Wonder over there, but. Eh. Well, you know. <laughs> so I you mean, could just make look. it green. He's doom after all. <laughs> like, yeah. well, and I mean, and that that could pose a lot of questions for the series. You know, like you can have Doctor Strange go, man, he lo- his magic looks just like mine. Where did yeah. he learn that? You know, like something like that. You know, but then again, you just do that with the magic in general because, like, I'm pretty sure that he'd be pretty surprised when a guy that's wearing it, he's you know, because. But it's it's there's a lot, once once Doom is like completely introduced, the possibilities are endless. I mean, like oh, he yeah. crosses over anything. And like, he's one anyway. of those villains where it's like, if you dare get rid of him, I'm gonna get mad because you yeah, can't no, no. get rid of Dude. him. Like I hate repetition. I can't stand I'll, it. I'll put it. But Doom I'll is the exception. A hundred percent guarantee that's never gonna happen because no, I don't know. That... I said I had the same about Thanos and. Yeah, well, Thanos but, but is dude like, just right. yeah, but like you gotta you gotta realize that these are comics. These are based off comics, you know. Like I mean, there is that, yeah. That's, that's... You know, the the as long as the actor is alive and well, you know, like he, uh, J- I mean, uh, Josh, I'm sure Josh uh, Brolin is not opposed to just doing this again. You know, like the yeah. the character, the the character's gone, but he's not truly gone you know like there's yeah. always ways of bringing that character back but like characters like you know the secondary tier characters that you kind of have to be expendable in some way you know like you got to have some stakes to it you know but like i don't feel i can never see that that studio getting rid of doom because no. like they've been waiting for so long to use the character why would you just do him one and done mm. he's he's a especially especially when he's attached to... he's attached yeah. to so many things that's what I'm saying. Like he's 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 cr- he's got a crossover appeal to anybody. Like mm. you can throw a, throw a throw a dart at any character in the Marvel universe, and they've come in contact with Doom. You know, and yeah. like they've had their thing with Doom. So like Doom is one of those characters that look it, it's ex- he's expendable, at, 
but there's all it's like a legacy character, you know. Like you might get rid of like Victor Von Doom, but there's always going to be a Doom in that universe at some point, you mm-hmm. know. I don't know. It, it, I don't think he's one of those characters that are just going to be one and done. It's, I mean, Ultron was probably is not like again. If, that's if another. If I character. don't get Ultron back, I swear. <laughs> Well, that's what I'm saying, but the, like, Spread Ultron's a, totally. right. uh, like Ultron's a weird character because this is a robot, you know. At this point, you know, like he, he's not really gone; his body's gone, you know. But like, he could come back at any point. I mean, you, you, know? you could quite easily say he got absorbed back into the Mind Stone. The Mind Stone's kind of gone. Oh. Or maybe he took on another, took on the life of his own. Like he's just not. He's not. I, he doesn't have a physical form. He is there, but he doesn't have. A I mean, form. I'm hoping One Division kind of like really screws up Vision. It's like, oh no, we brought back Ultron instead. Uh, what do we do? And then boom, he's back, and I can be happy again. And I James Spade is just like, yeah. yeah. Well, but, I don't think he necessarily. I don't think you necessarily need James Spade to come back to do that role. Um, you I think... don't, but I need it. Yeah, I mean, you 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 could definitely have him, but it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if someone else became that became. It, de- the it depends. It depends who they got because Spader for Ultron was a very very high bar. Yeah, yeah I, I didn't know I needed that until it happened. I'm like, yes, or, yes. Or they can also pull the whole. It's not the real Ultron. That's not the true Ultron type mm. situation. Because I mean, they did it with they have done it with Mandarin, Mandarin. Like that's, it, true. It, that's true. And this character is just as like this is like this is more believable in the fact that it's a robot, it's an AI. It doesn't necessarily have to have the same voice, you know. I mean, I love John, James Spader what he did with the character, but it's not like a do or die situation where like it's him or nobody, you know. Like, like look, they brought back Red Red Skull. I was you know, about to say actually, if you, anything ever happens, just bring that dude back. Like he, he yeah, can replace I mean, every actor that didn't want to do it. Again. Yeah, <laughs> like, I mean, like it, yeah, if I we mean, lose like, a Doom, he can do an impression of Doom. I'm happy with that. Yeah, I mean, this guy, he's a multi-talented guy. I mean, like, <laughs> but, but um, yeah, you know, yeah. Say what are you gonna say? Oh no, I was just gonna say yeah, you know, like these top-tier characters are never truly gone. It's a comic mm-hmm. book movie; they're gonna bring them back if they want. If it serves uh, a story, uh, my my head and heart agree. My stomach's like, mm, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> I, I had to know, think right? of a third one then to kind of like, what can I question? But um, but yeah, so that's gonna bring us then to our part two. Hopefully, I'm gonna try and make part three a bit more structured. This because no. yeah, this was fun. Kind of, I need to rethink what my part three is going to be because it's the ending of everything. So got to go big and got to yeah. go. Big. So uh, well, I already have an idea. I mean, like I know exactly. Oh, he's I already. Pre- oh, I got to step up. That's bad. I, because I, so. I've been thinking about this for like the last couple of weeks. It's like <laughs> there's there's a logical conclusion to this to to the Fantastic Four. It it's just a logical thing, you yeah. know. Well, uh, I look forward to hearing that. Um, which hopefully I'm. I want to try and step these up to two a week, if we can. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. But uh, hopefully we'll catch you sometime again this week. If not, we'll catch you week after that. So yeah. Bye. <laughs> bye bye.